Hey guys, what's up? Just bought a F1 pocket kite foil board that I uh, found on sale somewhere. But um, was going to mount my Cabrina mast, carbon mast to it, cab fusion mast. And right into a little issue right off the bat, the bolts that hold the Cabrina mast to the board are M8 bolts, these big guys, which have a really fat head on them to be able to fit inside the flanged hole, conical countersunk hole at the base plate of the mast. Well, I get this F1 board and you can see here, there's this lovely sticker that says only use M6 boards. Basically what it comes down to is the um, track is a little different than on the, my Cabrina board. And they want you to use these tiny little M6 bolts. And normally that, maybe that's not a problem with other brands. I haven't really ran into an issue, but let me show you what happens here when we put the M6 bolt in the M8 hole on the Cabrina mast. This is the bolts that come with the Cabrina mass set up and you can see how the hole here is countersunk and it's, it's like the edge is conical in here to support, distribute the weight of the board. Well, when you put these M6 bolts in here, they go way down and man, they are not, the end of the bolt is not much bigger than the hole there. So there's really not a material, not a lot of material holding the edge of the bolt there. And to me, that just seems pretty sketch. I, I, I hooked it all up last night using these little bolts and it just looked really like it was just, they would rip out if opportunity presented itself in a wipeout or something. So I came up with a solution that I think is gonna work. So I searched all over the internet trying to solve this problem and I couldn't find anything that would take the head on this bolt to the head size on that bolt, which it really needs to be for this to work properly. Um, but what I, I was looking for was what if I had the head from that bolt with a hole through it, like this one I just made, and then I can just put a flat stainless screw through that. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so here I put a, that's what it looks like when we're done. And then as you can see, the weight will be distributed around the, the edge of the hole like it's designed for and not rip off on the first wipeout. Now, one thing I think a lot of you are probably saying right now is why don't you just put an M8 T-nut in the track and use an M8 bolt? Well, that would be ideal, however, these tracks are skinnier the bolt fits in the bolt fits in just fine but when you go to put the t-nut in it drops in the hole but because they're wider it won't go back so that's there this part right here is wider than the slot so that's not really an option Got to use the M6 bolts, it seems like. I did find a uh, company online that, the other thing too, the other thing too, it's the distance from here, the actual flanged part of the T-nut is thick and it's too thick. Here's the one on the, uh, that comes with this board. This is how skinny they have to be to fit in there and this one, right there is way thicker. This is how skinny they have to be. I did find a company that makes something more like this, but this thickness, and I did order them and they're not here yet and I got sick of waiting and thought, man, there's gotta be a better way to do this anyway. So, so what I did was I just went to the hardware store and got, um, I got the Allen wrench ones, that use the Allen wrench, the hex, because they already pretty much have a hole in the middle and it helps the drill bit get started. So 
I just got the shortest ones because they were the cheapest and plus I'm going to be cutting the threads off of it anyway. So, so what I'm going to do is just take a board, mount it to a drill press. You could use this, you could do this by hand too, but I just already had this sitting here. Put a hole in there that the M8 bolt will sit in like that. Lined up everything so it, the drill bit's going to go right in that hole. All right. Um, then I'm going to take... I'm just gonna do it this way. There's probably other ways to do this. I just, this is what I had laying around. Take your vice grips and grab the bolt there so it doesn't spin. Whoops. Ah, it's hard to film and do this at the same time. All right, so I got it there and I'm just gonna clamp it so it's sort of straight. And I did buy, it's a quarter inch drill bit. That's what you need for an M6 bolt to go through. I got that bolt secured. It's not going to spin, so I'm going to hold that. Or actually, it'll, it'll hit that. And I'm just going to drill a hole here. I'm going to try to figure out how to film this. Hold on. Here we go. All right, next thing I'm going to do is just take this. Some, I got lucky on my first one when I drilled the hole through. It, um,. Perfectly aligned and broke the thing off. So this this one's rusted out on the side there a little bit. Take the Dremel. A little bit rough around the uh, edge there from cutting it off. So I'm just gonna take the Dremel again and just sand them down a little bit. You just cut it off and there you have it you can polish it up a little bit if you need to if it's you don't want it sharp dig it into your carbon but um yeah man that's pretty much how you make it m6 to m8 countersunk bolt adapter All right, so now we got our little adapter here. We can just put that in there and then put a six mil stainless steel bolt down in there. There you go. You want to make sure you use a flathead bolt that sits on top of that thing. They're going to be a little bit longer bolts than the original ones. I think the original ones are 15 and these are 20, but they sit up higher because of the part we just made. <laughs> 